This is the waterfront. We're looking south, so uh, you'll see, you're looking at the Olympic Peninsula. Uh, this is called, da this road that we're riding on is Dallas Road, so of course that's the Dallas Road pathway. There are occasionally plans to turn this into more of a bike path, uh, but right now the emphasis is on car access, so you'll see that the majority of the length here is devoted to car parking. This is one of Victoria's valuable assets. And there's a lot of reason to say, especially on this road, that it should be fully multimodal, or you could say this should be a complete street. And you notice that right now it's not. Right. Uh, fortunately, most motorists are driving at a modest speed, and that's the, really, I think, the key. But I think much more could be done to reduce the automobile traffic speeds and make people more comfortable, make pedestrians and cyclists more comfortable. What are the attributes of an urban village? It's a place where most of the things that most residents need over the course of, say, a week are available within walking distance. So for some people, it's going to be a car trip, but it's a park once trip. So you drive somewhere in the village, you park, and you run all your errands. So the future is how do we continue to build places that reward the short trip and thus in doing so you're able to really promote people who can get the places by foot. You attract more people to take the bike instead of their car and then certainly those that will take their car in still have the option and likely it becomes a little bit easier for them to park because it's not such a battle. Those types of things. I also want to point out um, the street sign, how they just easily attached a cool uh, wayfinding mechanism. And what Victoria does so well, and more and more cities in the US are doing this, is they say the walking times. So 20 minutes to said place. So we as people get that a little bit more from the time perspective versus the distance perspective. So um, that's cool. And obviously, that's a pretty cheap thing to do, um, putting it on an existing pole. The walkability, the idea of the park once trip yeah. becomes very important if you want to convince decision makers to invest in walkability, not just for health benefits right. and not just for you know environmental benefits, but to build a business case. Because the most, especially in a commercial area where you have a lot of activity and high land values, you want to make each parking space work as hard as possible. Totally. This was a really rundown building, and about 10 years ago, the Neighborhood Association bought this thing through um, community labor, cleaned it up, and has turned it into a mix of uh, the coffee shop and other commercial activities, and, um, and then affordable housing above. This is my favorite destination. A local pub. So, I live. This is my. This is my neighborhood. Why is it good that when I come to my pub, I walk rather than drive? I don't have to park. Look at this place. If ever you notice a two-lane road, some scattered parking. If the, these buildings, look at all these buildings. Uh, all this floor area had standard parking supply you'd have to tear down half of these buildings to supply the parking. 